and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hello everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today I'm going over the Madden market. Now guys, things have been moving a little bit now, which is kind of weird. Things are already starting to progress, starting to progress down after the little hype here we have for a few days. Starting to progress down with no content just yet. But today is Thursday, which means that the stream, oh, today's actually Wednesday. So the stream is tomorrow night. So we are progressing closer to the next promo drop, which many people are pre-selling. Now, pre-selling isn't as dramatic as it was early in the year because there's a lot less players at this point. A lot less people who care about as much as making that extra buck. Nowadays, people care a little bit less because a lot of cards are all in game at this point. So the whole pre-selling ideology that was going on during most of the year isn't happening as much, but it, it definitely, I do see a little tick down certain cards, which is kind of weird because we have no confirmed cards yet. So people are kind of just, I guess, selling whatever they feel like selling at this point. There's nothing like put in place that you should be selling quarterbacks, running backs, which is kind of weird from my opinion. But guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. I'm done the family. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up as always, and comment down below if you guys have anything you want to add, as well as mention about the market. So let's head over to the 98 to 99. So I'm sure you guys some of the things that are trending down, which I think are going to continue to trend down. So me and Joe Green was just 290, by the way. He came up a little bit right now. He was, I just sold him for 290, went for 305. Me and Joe Green is trending down a little bit. Now, I don't know why. I don't, there's no, like, defensive tackle plan to release, but it's just how Ultimate Legends work. Now, as far as Ultimate Legends go, these are slowly coming down. Now, they're going to go down even more this Saturday, obviously, with Ultimate Legends Saturday. So I'd, I'd even wait at this point because him and Willie Lanier are going to get even cheaper. What I find weird, though, is that Willie Lanier and me and Joe Green are around the same price. I don't think Willie Lanier is nearly as good as me and Joe Green. Willie Lanier to be good, you'd have to power him up, chem, chem him up and everything, and get him to like a 93 speed, 94 speed. And that's probably like the best. Like, even at that point, I still don't think he's worth it. I think that you're better off to waiting for another linebacker, getting Devin White and doing the same thing. He's okay, but these prices are a little... They're trending down. I'd still wait till Legend Saturday, though, because that's the only thing that's going to bring these cards down. The free agency cards were trending up, then they trended back down. Now they're kind of sitting at like a, a steady price around here. In my opinion, everything's going to start to crash pretty soon especially with this new promo drop this new promo drop should bring things down especially if we finally get some 99s in the game that's the issue we have not gotten 99s Mahomes doesn't really count he was a one-time limited time type drop we've not gotten 99s once we get those 99s these will start to crash down pretty heavily because these right now are the best cards in madden so i'm assuming with this legend saturday potentially the path to the draft slash easter promo and then golden tickets dropping next week these are all going to start crashing soon so expect a pretty huge market crash to occur first off guys golden tickets should crash the market for one simple reason people are going to be golden tickets gets people out of the rocks like people come out from hiding from not playing Madden for months to come spend their coins to pull these golden tickets they're going to be opening packs people are going to be open getting an excess amount of cards tossing them onto the market people don't care about these cards so they only want the golden tickets so things start coming down so an insane market crash will be coming in the near future and right now things went down a little bit they're steadying out it's the calm before the storm promo's about to drop these are kind of the pre-sale prices already ready to go. Randall Cunningham is below 400k now, which is why I told you guys to not buy him for like 475. I said to wait a little bit. I knew he'd come down more. Plus, on Legend Saturday, he can we probably find him for around like 350, more than likely. Some guys have come up a little bit, but it's more just the fact of being being mad in limbo. Like Joe Thomas really isn't that price because of lack of content right now and the timing of everything. But Nitro Lane is coming back down. He's back in his 500k range. Guys, another guy that the second we get a new promo and we start getting some 99s, he should come down to like the 450k range, which is when he's going to be a good price to buy, in my opinion. I'm just waiting for that. He's going to come down pretty significantly at some point. But if it is patched to the draft this weekend or even Color Smash, both promos did incorporate strictly like 99 masters last year and 99 cards. So hopefully that doesn't imply that we will be getting more. But like I said, Madden has been a tick behind pretty much everything overall wise this year compared to last year now like i said it's increased the longevity of the game but at the same time it's kind of hard to predict when they're going to actually drop the 99 this at this point last year we had just gotten like a bunch of 99s from pats of the draft and then we'd be getting even more from easter promo lamar jackson still on the come down guys he's going to be this expensive like i said until we start getting some more until people open more packs a eh? people aren't opening a bunch of packs now there's no reason to open packs there's nothing in packs there's no ltds like how they used to be this is going to come down as soon as golden tickets drop we're going to get a new lamar we're going to get like there's five new quarterbacks one of them is probably going to come out week one or at least week two and people are going to be opening packs which means more series redux pulls which means more lamar pulls it's going to all coordinate together like that but as we move on down mahomes same thing as same thing as lamar mahomes is just the only 99 mahomes is a little bit more leeway 
because he's the only 99 so he's still deemed as like the only golden player that's like based off the block right now so he, as soon as we get more of those he's gonna come down we're super close i'm telling you guys it's probably this friday and if it's not this friday then it's Ed Benz this next week with golden tickets like at, at the worst case scenario we get them in about like seven we need about eight days from now worst case scenario best case scenario we have them by two days from now which is the third friday more than likely and then coming on down guys we obviously have willie brown ltds delaney walker but these cards are and krishna koi these cards are different though willie brown with because it's just people open much as much packs as they used to because of the point of the year we're at because of that since people aren't opening packs as much these cards are just inflated in price because there's not as many on the block people don't care as much anymore about it so in that in that sense these cards like him and Krishna Koye and Walker will be pretty expensive until the next series. Well, Tony Walker probably always have that price just because he's one of these series masters. But Willie Brown and Koye will be expensive for the next series and probably won't be affordable for quite a while. And the next, and there is no next series, by the way. So when I say next series, I mean, I don't know if EA is going to announce like, like a, a quick little redux drop. I don't know how they're going to end up doing that. Hopefully they do do it though, because some LTDs will kind of suck if you can't. Like a Koye, I'm going to want at some point. So hopefully it does come back as like a, a redux that I can actually afford. And now the 96, 97s. And this one's kind of weird in my opinion these just these have been fluctuating a lot i'm telling you guys again comment before the storm these guys are about to crash pretty hard at some point i mean there's a great example they've come up they've come down 145 like they're on the brink of crashing like they're, they're trying to remain relevant but it's not going to last very long especially as we move later in the year less modern day players worth powering up like a lot of these players we're not getting another card no joke like we're gonna get a lot of ultimate legends a lot of golden tickets a blockbuster like there's gonna be a few things but hopefully blockbuster but for the meantime, we might not get some of these players for a while, so the price should keep decreasing because a lot of these guys have gotten their big cards ready, so they're really being held up by their power value or the, by the fact they're modern. But it's not going to last for too long. And like I said, with these brand new promo drops, we're getting further and further away from 96 overall. Now to the draft, golden tickets. These cards should drop a lot. Like I said, the golden tickets is that promo, guys, where people come out of the woodworks and start selling random stuff. Like, I, don't get, I, know, you, I know you guys are all guilty of this, or at least most of you guys. You haven't played since January. It's it's April. You get out of school and you're like, you, you see on your tweet on Twitter, oh my god, golden tickets drop. I remember when golden tickets were in Madden. You're like, I'm gonna go get one. You hop on. Your team's old. Like you haven't played since January. You have a whole team of the year team, and they go for like half of what you you spent on them. You're like, damn. I wish I'd sold my team a while back and saved my coins. I would be able to buy like two golden tickets. So what you do is you start rapidly selling. You're like, I'm never gonna play again. So you start rapidly selling all your team, and you use all the half the coins you got back. You use it to either buy packs or to go pull a golden ticket to get a golden ticket or you go buy a golden ticket and you get that one golden ticket and you're like now what do i do and your whole team's ass i mean i've done that plenty of times where i've come back later so i'm just letting you guys know people are going to be coming back out of the woodworks and selling their older teams of team of the years dropping a bunch of stuff on the block which should pretty much just destroy the market like people are going to be coming back selling everything they're going to be selling like they will have like let's say they have Mahomes something else they'll be selling him on the block real quick trying to get a golden ticket like that that is the extent of usually how we're like fun and innovative golden tickets end up becoming where people are just making up all these kind of things to get as many coins as possible so i'm telling you guys that could destroy the market there's only gonna be two at once but that's more than enough two is more especially if they drop one of the better ones if they drop like two they gotta drop a name brand i know gentry is gonna be good but if they drop like gentry and uh, cravon leblanc people aren't gonna care as much but if they drop like michael vick or lamar jackson is one of the other ones people are gonna be hopping on that i don't know how they're gonna end up doing it i hope they don't give us two of the worst ones to start because that will kind of suck. And not to say those guys are the worst, but they're not name brand. They're not going to pull the kind of pack sales that everyone else is going to pull strictly just based off name. Because again, would you rather have Cravon LeBlanc or 99 Golden Ticket Michael Vick? It's, it's, and not that I'm, a, I told you guys, I'm a name guy. And not because I'm like that, because it's, it's Madden and it looks more, it's more fun to me that way. And that's besides the point. Now, there's not much more to go down, guys. Like I said, a lot of these cards at this point, all of this down here kind of just gets filtered and flooded with ultimate legend pieces that's what i hate about this point of the year everything beyond like 94 95 is just a bunch of pieces like these are all card pieces a lot of them aren't even full cards so like you're seeing some here but there's just so many ultimate legend uh, pieces in there and it's just hard to really look through there but guys and one last thing just for all you guys who know golden tickets cannot be powered up so everyone keeps asking should i invest in cards please do not do that don't waste your time that's another thing guys when people who everyone who's been doing that and doesn't realize that they're gonna start selling those pieces as soon as the golden tickets come out and they realize that that's not a part of their power up and you can't even power it up anyways but guys that's pretty much it for the video hope you guys did enjoy today's video guys hopefully you guys are seeing this sometime midday you could see it a bit earlier just depending on the timing of everything but hopefully you guys did enjoy if you are new to the channel make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button always turn on that notify boys always turn it on if you want to be notified whenever i post a brand new video 
And as always, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Show support in the video if you guys did enjoy. And comment down below if you guys have anything to add. Guys, I don't know if there's going to be content today, so that really just kind of dictates when you'll see this video. More than likely, middle of the day. But it could be sooner depending on Madden. We never really know with them, right? But that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.